This is your girl Charlotte Shay. Honestly, I thought I had um didn't press the <clears throat> button to record just a minute ago. But I actually did, so we're gonna get right into this. As by the title, y'all already know what I'm about to talk about. <clears throat> my experience when I stayed in Georgia and I my apartment was broke into and I was robbed. Okay, so <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been sick, but um, basically I moved to Georgia in 2012. I moved there in order to go to school, culinary school. So when I moved there, I was like, okay, so cool, that's what's up. I'm going to go ahead and finish what I've been wanting to do. And I'm going to, you know, further myself so I can open a business and all that, yada, yada, yada. So, I went to a school and I ended up going to school, which I tell anybody from now on, I don't know everybody else's experience, but I should have just watched you too. But um, when I went to school, I was going to culinary. So when I go to culinary school, I, I found me an apartment last minute. They told me it was a good, a nice area and premises or whatever. Me and my dad went down together and actually looked at the apartment and everything. So I'm thinking, all right, cool. I'm, I'm, I got a deal. I got a nice apartment. By the way, again, I, disclaimer is I'm not a mua. I think I might need some cover myself. get my clothes dirty so I am not a moo I have a niece this one and she does a good job if y'all want to check her out you check her out at Beats by Indy that's B-E-A-T by B-Y Indy I-N-D-Y and you can check out on Facebook uh, she just got her page up not long ago but uh Basically, this is a getting ready with me, meaning y'all are getting ready with me. So, I just do like a basic makeup when I do it because I'm not good. I don't know how to do all the dramatic makeup and the beautiful makeup. I just know how to do a natural look, which nine times out of ten, it's the way I like it. So, it ain't it ain't the bomb, but it, it, it does the work. So... When I'm, okay, back to the story. I moved to Georgia, and when I moved to Georgia, I was intending on going to school, coming back, and I had to leave my kids in order, order to do that. I left them with my mother, and when I did that, that was the hardest thing I ever done in my life, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie, because I'm, I'm a single parent, and I do everything, so it's like that was just the hardest thing ever for me to leave and know that they don't have a fa their father there, neither father, so... I'm the only thing that connected to them that's that, you know, father, father and mother figure. So for me to leave, it was very hard. So I left to Georgia, got me an apartment. We moved through. My dad checked it out. They said it was a good area. So, you know, me, I'm like, okay, cool. I got I got a good deal. I'm, move, I'm about to move into my own apartment down here. I left my home that I was staying in. And I went ahead and I left. So, the first week <clears throat> I was there, I actually had a, hold on for a second. Okay, the first week I was there, and y'all, this is what I use to put my makeup in and mix it. I know that's crazy because it's actually just a soap container, but I bought it and I was like, oh, this might work. And it does work. I just clean it every time I use it. I clean it with alcohol and, um witch hazel that way you know it's, it stays clean and sanitized and it's not any bacteria or anything left you know because we all carry that so i have to you have to make sure you keep your stuff clean throughout the day so uh 
I moved there and I was like, oh, I'm about to go to school. I'm about to, I'm about to do what I've been wanting to do all these years. <laughs> and I moved there and I got school done, y'all. I graduated from culinary school in 2013. But that was the hardest experience I've been through. Almost in my life, y'all, in my life. But the first week I was there, I comes outside because it's all this ruckus in the middle of the night. Well, no, let me tell y'all about the first day. Whenever I, I got there and <laughs> I was going into my apartment. So I got there after my day. Everybody came down, helped me move. The guy I was talking to at the time, he helped. Everybody helped. So... <clears throat> When I moved in, I can't find nothing right now, y'all. But when I moved in, we went down to Georgia. Everybody came from North Carolina, helped me move down. And my brother, my dad, um, the dude I was talking to at the time, uh, my mother, everybody just, you know, came and helped help me move. So when we got down there, <coughs> we moved everything in. So I had to come back to North Carolina. I can't even remember. Did I come back to North Carolina? I think we had to make two trips. So I came back to North Carolina. I came back down the road. Me and my dad we came back down. No, I came back to North Carolina after the, um, moving my stuff in. And I came back because I still had a couple more things I had to get. So I got back down to Georgia. I was on the phone with my dad. You know, we was talking or whatever. So... I'm getting out my car, and y'all, hold on. Hey everybody, I'm back. And what happened was, Avery on the school called, I had to go get her because she was, uh, she fell and hurt her leg at school, so I had to go get her. I'm gonna take her to the doctor later on. First, I'm gonna see how ice doing, then I'm gonna take her to the doctor. Um, because it's not swollen, it's just red, so maybe if she put some ice on it, it'll make her feel better. But, back to the video. So, as y'all can see, I went ahead and drew these little things on real quick. Because, you know, I can't go up in the school without these. But, anyway, um, so... <clears throat> Let's get back into my um, actual experience in Georgia. So, uh, I'm dropping stuff. My bad. But anyway, um, so, as I said, I uh, fast forward back to me getting out the car about to go into my apartment so it's a guy out there I saw him earlier that day when I came to Georgia the first time when we were moving in alright so he was y'all yeah, listen listen he was fine he was light skinned he had tattoos everywhere he had his hair cut just real nice so you know his sister was like but I was on the phone with my daddy he was like the dude was like, hey, you need some help getting that stuff out your car? I was like, no. That was my dad on the phone. Don't you let that dude in. Don't, don't you let him come in your apartment. So I'm like, no, I don't need no help. I don't need no help. Thank you, though. And he was like, well, if you need me for anything, holler at your boy. I was like, all right, that's cool, that's cool. So I'm like, dang, I, they might be nice, dang. These, these people might be my, my, my nice. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like getting the stuff out the car. I walk in my apartment, and when I walk in my apartment, I don't have any furniture, mind you, because I got rid of everything. Just like I'm doing now, I'm starting over. I, I don't like, sometimes when I move in houses or apartments, especially if they look nice, when I move into it, I don't want to take a lot of stuff from the place to, before. So, um, I moved in this apartment and I didn't have nothing. I got rid of everything. So, all I had was like a TV. I had a laptop. I had a printer. I had, 
um, jewelry, clothes, shoes, stuff like that. So I went and got me a couch. So I had a couch for the living room. Didn't y'all? I didn't even have no bed, bro. I didn't have no bed. I was, I was, I was thugging it. I was thugging it. So I moved. When I moved, got went in the house. I went in. Okay, everything was good for the first week. <clears throat> I would see the dude. He would speak. What have you? Ask how I'm doing. School was going great. <clears throat> Hey everybody, I forgot and I'm adding this in in the beginning because I have to tell y'all this now because um, it's another part of the story with me and Georgia. So the guy that I was just talking about just now, okay, so with him, I had a situation with him also. And so one night I was in bed and I was, somebody kept knocking on the door. Mind you, I had been seeing him and he had been speaking and stuff. So it was the pole, I mean, it was him. He was like, hey baby, open the door. I'm like, Hey, I don't even know who you is. Hey, open the door, quit playing, let me in. I'm like, mm hmm. So then <clears throat> I have the little two locks on my door. You can open it just a little bit to see out, but the door is still locked. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm sick. So then I opens it up, peeps out the window, and I can't even tell it's him. He's so messed up. I don't know what this dude was on. I mean, this dude fine now, but. I don't know what he was on, but it wasn't nothing that I want my man on. So, I'm like, I don't know who you is. I need if you get away from my door, like, right now, I'm calling the police. I'm just going to tell you straight like that. And he's like, man, baby, quit playing, man. You, man, you tripping. You know, just saying little stuff. And I'm saying, like, damn, did I have one night stand and didn't even know it? Did I get too drunk one night? What? So, I'm sitting there like, nah, that ain't me. I ain't even like that. So, I'm like. Hey, 911, I need y'all show up. This dude out here acting crazy. Y'all come. They was like, in 2.3 seconds, which I was surprised because it's the hood. You know, usually they won't come over here. So, and um, at the time, I didn't know it was the hood, but y'all, it was the hood. So, they showed up or whatever. This dude was at the road. Like, they had him. They had him handcuffed, everything. They came to my door. He's like, they was like, I was like, yeah. It's like, ma'am. We just talked to the guy here and he sounds very he sounds very convinced and telling us that you are his mate and that y'all are just having a misunderstanding and that you are his, his girlfriend. I said, Bruh, who me? They was like, Yeah, you, you I was like, I don't know this dude. I was like, Yeah, I do not know him. So I was like, peeping out the way that I looked again. I was like, hell. I was like, dude, I was talking to him at the time. He was a big boy, so I'm like, this ain't right. Something ain't right. He ain't lost no weight that quick in a, like a week or two. So I was like, nah, this ain't this ain't right. So I'm sitting here like, nah, that, I don't know this dude. I don't know this dude. So they like, ma'am, you sure? I was like, I do not know him. So I looked at it again. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's the guy from upstairs. I was like, I don't, I said, I don't know him like that. I said, but he see me all the time and he speaks and stuff. I was like, but I didn't even notice it was him. He looked so messed up. They was like, yeah. They was like, well, since I was like, he from upstairs. He's like, you sure you have, you're not talking to him and you and him might have, be having an altercation or, you know, a domestic issue or anything and you just don't want to, you know, tell us. I was like, no. I was like, I don't know him. I said, I just know him from seeing him around, him speaking and stuff. I said, but he must be, you know, I mean, he might have been drinking a night or something and, you know, just thought it was you know my apartment i mean his apartment i don't know i said but i'm i apologize that everything is going like this i said but i don't know the guy like personally we've never had any intimacy no nothing and like okay ma'am well, we're gonna take him in yada yada so i'm like okay that's cool i was like y'all have a good night because you know he scared me to death y'all his eyes was red and everything i don't know what he was on so the next day he was sitting on the stoop when i came out and he was like okay so He's like, hey, how you doing? He's like, I just want to apologize, and I am so, so sorry. He's like, I did not mean to do that. I was, you know, I had been out. We partied all night and stuff, and I came back, and I get, I was just messed up. I said, it's all right. I said, it, I, it's okay. And he was like, man, I got to pay that. You know, I got something for, I can't remember what it was, a serving a piece or something. And I was like, well, I'm sorry that it had to happen that way. He's like, no, no. He's like, I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. He's like, but let me make it up to you. Let me take you out or whatever. And I'm like, no, I was like, nah, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because he already messed up with me because I don't care how fine he is, bro. But if you want something, I don't, that wasn't no weed. I'm just going to tell y'all that now. I don't know what he was on, but it wasn't no weed. It wasn't no alcohol. 
I don't know what it was. So therefore, I can't I can't fool with it. So I was like, no. Nah. I was like, I said that's okay. I said your apology is enough. And he's like, you sure? You sure? He's like, if you want me to, I'll cook for you. I do whatever you need me to. I was like, no, you fine. I was like, it's it's cool. I said I know things happen. And he was like, okay. He said, well. He was like, I just. He said, what's your name? You know, like, cause I never really told him information on me. And I, right then, I didn't want to give information neither. So at the time, when people would ask me my name, I was going by another name, which I'm not giving that out because I still go by that name sometimes. But anyway, I went ahead and I was like, uh, it's okay, you know. I, and he was like, well, all right. He said, well, um, if you need anything, it's still open. If you want to go out or you want me to take you out or whatever, I was like, okay, cool. So. That was about it with that story, but that's another little story I had. So let me let y'all get on back to, you know, getting that face beat as far as my little natural look. And um, also me telling y'all about my, me getting robbed in Georgia. And just remember, I am not a makeup artist. I am just someone that's giving y'all a getting ready with me and a story time. So... That's all this is. Don't don't message me about no products, what I use, none of that. So, all right, let's get back to the video. So after that first week, I come out like one o'clock in the morning because it's all types of rookies and all that. So when I comes out, the apartments across the way on like the same apartment uh, complex, but they were on the other side. They were on fire like bad, and it was people up in the top, and they were trying to get them to jump, but they wouldn't jump. So I'm like, oh hell, I'm at, what what's going on? Why is they why is they apartment on fire, first of all? Cause this apartment complex supposed to be very um how can I say? Uh very exclusive. So it shouldn't be no type of like malfunctions in the electricity, none of that. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching these people trying to get them to jump. They finally jump. And I, I even got video, but I don't know if I still have it. I have to go look. But um, so I'm sitting there and I'm watching all these people and stuff and they come out. And that's the first incident. <clears throat> Second incident comes around. <clears throat> so I'm there and I'm I'm chilling or whatever and I go to school every day, every day, every day. So I walk outside and, and it started being these little people that's in front of my like outside the apartment in the front area just sitting there just playing acting a fool like doing different types of stuff so i'm sitting there like whatever i got myself into i mean it would be up late at night playing music outside different things like yeah so i'm like whatever i got myself into so if one particular day i walked out and there's a girl on the stoop and there was a guy on the stoop and they were like the girl was like dang you got a fat and i was like what you say Dang, you got a fit. So I'm like, did you just? I don't know whether to take it as a compliment or you trying to be funny. Cause yeah, I do got a you know a, a big bottom. You know I'm one of them BBWs that got like a a butt. I don't have a bottom. I have a butt. So I'm sitting here like. So I'm like. Me and her kind of, you know, had little words. Cause I'm like, look, don't talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't do that at all. Don't, don't come at me sideways. None of that. Because I'm not that type of sit and just ha laugh that off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then she's like, you know, saying little stuff or whatever. So I get in my car and I leave. Okay. So after that, every time we saw each other, she would be, and I would be, and she would be. And then I'm the one day I'm like, man, what's up? Well, I mean, what's the issue? And she's like, uh, what'd she say? She's like, ain't no issue. She's like, I can look wherever I want. I said, you sure can. I said, but I mean, the way you looking like you got an issue. She's like, nah, I ain't got no issue or whatever. She's like, but, um, she's like, it ain't, it ain't no beef. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I said what I said and you said what you said. And I was like, yeah, you right. I said, and at the end of the day, I said, I ain't here to make no beef with nobody. I said, because I ain't that type. I said, if you took it like I was trying to make beef that day, nah, it wasn't that. It's just a point of I wouldn't disrespect you like that. So, everything was all good. I walked out. She walked out. So, I comes outside one day and they like, 
Her and the dude sitting on the stoop. I guess they was they, they was about to get kicked out because they were having ty all types of parties outside. I mean, people said it was so packed. It looked like a club outside my apartment every other night. So they got kicked out. They were getting kicked out, and she was sitting out there on the stoop with the guy. And I guess they were packing their stuff up. So I don't stop doing my makeup because honey, I'm, I'm getting into the story, honey. But um. She was sitting on the stoop, and he was sitting on the stoop, and they were like, uh, the guy was like, oh, so you going to school? I was like, I just looked, I was like, y'all have a good day or whatever. I ain't even, you know, I wasn't even forward that day. I was just tired, and I had been going to school every day and working, so I'm just like, I ain't, I ain't forward, whatever, yeah. So, mind you, I, my thoughts are they had been watching my schedule. They had been watching what time I go to school. They had been watching all that. So... I comes home that evening around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. My whole apartment had been ransacked. Door open. Mind you, the lady across the hall, hers was too. So I'm like, man, God, dog, what's going on? So I walks in, I'm all upset. So I calls my dad and I'm like, dad, look, I done been, my apartment I've been broke into. So they immediately called my family. Just, they kind of further away from me. But, um... They immediately came. They 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 showed love. They came to my apartment. He came. My cousin came in. He was ready. You know what I'm saying? He had his stuff and he was ready. He was like, "Hey, what's up? What are it?" <laughs> but they was already gone. But you know what I'm saying? Um. So after that, I uh went to their house and stayed for a little while. And I tried to find me another apartment. While I was gone, my apartment got broke into again. Oh, let me tell you this. The first time I got robbed, let me tell you what they stole. They stole my laptop. They stole my printer. They stole shoes. They stole jewelry. They stole my whole jewelry box and makeup. So, y'all know it was a girl involved. Case in point. Altercations before. So, that tells you something. That's where my whole mind goes to it to this day. So, um... I was like, so at that time, that's when MAC and stuff, well, MAC is still popular, so I had all types of stuff. I had MAC makeup, I had different types of makeup, and um, clothes, shoes, heels, all that stuff got stole, y'all. Like, they even stole my little fake jewelry that I got from, like, It's Fashion and um, City Trends, all that little stuff. So I'm like, man, they, they if they need it that bad, bro, I ain't even mad at you. But, I, you know, I was heated by my laptop and stuff because I had so much stuff on it. So, I goes ahead and I'm like, I makeup on my hand. I hate that. But, uh, so I goes on and stay with them for a while. I goes back to move all my stuff. Y'all, when I goes in that night and I slept on I slept on my couch, I, it, it had been raining again in my apartment. I don't know what they was coming look for the second time, but they came back in there. So I went ahead and I stayed the night that night because it was my last night and I was getting out the little bit of stuff I had out. That morning, I woke up from my child support card going off saying it was declined at the store nearby. They must have been slow because... Nine times out of ten, if you get a woman child support card, ain't nothing gonna be on it, cause it don't get paid. So my thing is, they they it wasn't right. So it was just an alert that I had. So when that alert went off, I went out to my car, cause I knew my car was in my car, cause I had I had everything packed in my car. Goes out there, and my whole car had been ransacked. Got into they they had. Threw hair all over the car where I had like a box of just, you know, how women are. We have our hair sitting around like, oh, we're going to wear this today. So I had that in the box and I had a whole bunch of different things like odds and ends that I could fit in my car and take over there. So I had all that in the car. So when I went to the car and I got all that out and it was in there and I was like, man, they don't stole my car. So I had to call and get all my cards uh, um, turned off, everything. They did get some money off my bank card, which was my check from that week and I got that back. I got all that back but I never found out who done it. Police had to come up here and y'all oh let me go back to the first story. Okay so oh y'all I'm sorry I'm jumping around but okay the story before whenever I first got 
broke my apartment that broke into. So the police showed up that next day. Mind you, it was the police on the premises. Husband, police, everything. So he came in my apartment and he brought his buddy. So they all in there. And mind you, this policeman been trying to holler at me. He done brought me dinner to the to the apartment, honey. Like like dinner. He cooked it and brought it to me. And I'm like. Okay, so, I, you know, I'm thinking I'm just meeting a new person, you know, just to help watch over me while I'm there. So, I'm being nice. So, all right, so, uh, this other one comes in, and he's talking to me. He's like, how are you doing today, ma'am? I said, I, I'm, I guess I'm fine. He's like, oh, yes, you are. You know, stuff like that. So, hey, bro, is you trying to, so, these Atlanta police, Lord Jesus, I think y'all just be trying to get ahead. But anyway, so. He's like, oh, well, I'm going to give you my personal number. So, if you need me, then you call me as soon as possible if you just need to talk about something. So, I'm like, okay, thank you, sir. So, I went ahead and took the number because you know what? Hey, it's good to have somebody on speed dial that's close. So, I took the number. And I, he left. But back to where I was. So, the next day, back to the end of the story where I was moving out and uh, they had ransacked my car. So, the next day, I moved all my stuff out. So, I moved all my stuff out, left, and I was just done with it. After that, I got my money back. The banks gave my money. So, I went and I stayed with my family and... You know, it was a while from, it was a good minute from where I worked, so I would have to leave early. So, I still had to find me an apartment closer. So, I found me an apartment in Duluth, Duluth, Georgia. And, y'all, that was the best experience ever. It was so nice. I had a gated-in community, everything. So, all right. So, I went back to my apartment that I stayed in because I had left. I can't remember what I left. I think I left a bag of trash in there. Yeah, I left a bag of trash. I was like. I'm going to go ahead and get it. So, me and my co-worker went over. He was like, man, leave that there. He was like, leave that S there. He said, they, they, shouldn't even, you should, they shouldn't even put you in this apartment like that. So, hold on. All right. I know y'all tired of me saying I'm back. But I'm back. <clears throat> I had a phone call. But uh, I don't even think I need this no more. I got makeup all over it. So, let me take it off. But, uh, <clears throat> so, I get... Uh, in my new apartment, which I told y'all, Duluth, Georgia, which is a great area where I stayed. I stayed um, in some apartments on Boggs Road. I can't even, y'all, it's been so long. I, I can't even remember the name of them, but they were some beautiful apartments. But that's where I stayed in, y'all, and I loved it. But when I moved there, I actually, everything started to look up. I like my, where I stayed. I like everything about it, honestly. And, um, so, after that, oh, I had to go back again after the situation with the trash. I went back because I had to talk to the landlord or something, and so I had to go back to the apartment. When I got back to the apartment, y'all, somebody was trying to go in the apartment. I actually seen them going in the apartment, like, fiddling with the door so when i walked when i came up when i pulled up you could see back there where my apartment was and it was trying to go in so uh when i pulled up and they saw me they looked and they was like and they start kind of stopped feeling with the door and try to act like it was walking and they walked right past my car y'all and i looked them dead in their face and i was on the phone with the police i said look i'm about to go after them do i need to go after them it's like no so I'm like, I'm going, I'm about to go and follow them because I know that's whoever stole my stuff. He's like, we're on the way, miss. Don't, don't, don't follow because if you follow, anything can happen. So I'm like, y'all need to come on. Y'all need to come on. And he's like, we're on our way. We're on our way. Just, just chill. Just chill. Don't leave because she, I guess it was a black dispatcher because she's like, don't, don't go after them. So I'm like, okay, look, okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to sit here, but if y'all don't show up, I'm gone. So, they said, I know they pulled up, because I, I went ahead and started riding, I was talking to a while with them, before. I was, I'm going down, Jimmy Carter, and uh, I don't see them, they ran off behind the building, so I don't know where they went to, so I'm sitting there, like, okay, so where these fools go, because I'm going to get y'all, because y'all y'all stole all my stuff, I had, I had to start over and everything, again, so, I'm, I'm riding, trying to find them. And as I know, the cop pulls up. 
And she's like, have you seen him or whatever? I said, no. I said, he's a, a black guy. He was light-skinned, real small build. I said, and he was going, trying to go in my apartment. I said, he walked right past my car and, like, he was afraid that I was going to do something. And if I would have had some, he would have been gone. I would have shot him. I'm going to tell y'all now. And she's like, I understand. I understand. She's like, uh, just get... I'm going to go ahead and get a report from you. And we're going to get everything, you know, try to look for them. Y'all, I ain't never heard enough from them people. They, they got their report probably put it up somewhere. But uh, to this day, I swear the uh, apartment complex had something to do with it because of how they were acting, like my landlord and all them. So, with apartment managers. So, um, after that... I went ahead and I moved into my other apartment. I never went back. But y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, that was one of the worst experiences ever because I had to start over. They stole my kids' uh, weed. Yeah, I didn't tell y'all that. My kids used to come and visit. They stole my kids' stuff, y'all. They stole their weed and all that. So, that was kind of aggravating because I was like, man, y'all even stole my kids' stuff, you know. So, everything they stole was stuff mostly that they could take and pawn. So, I guess it might have been those people that got kicked out because they needed the money. <laughs> Just saying, yeah, y'all needed the money. But anyway, um, if y'all watching. But so they went ahead and they got the stuff for whatever. So I basically had to start over again. I got me a bed and stuff to go in my apartment. The school actually gave me some of my money from my, uh, I guess it's a pale green or something I had. So they gave it to me early because I told them my situation and what had occurred. And they went ahead and gave me that part of it. And I was able to get my stuff together and you know get what I needed I didn't have everything I wanted but I had what I needed so I moved into the apartment and when I moved into the apartment everything was fine and coach so that was my story y'all about me moving to Georgia and me getting robbed and y'all, as I already said, that was the hardest thing I ever been through in my life. Like, literally my life. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Because I really enjoyed telling y'all about it. It was, it was something hard, but I got through it. That's why I tell people all the time. If you can get through the hard parts. You can get through anything. And I have. I've been through a lot. So, over the years. So, it only can make you stronger, you know. So, that's what I say. Just keep moving and keep doing what you do. Everything going to be okay. And, y'all, uh, I'm going to put links below. Because I meant to put them on the last video to... Uh, Leah's channel and Abriana's channel. Also, I'll put a link below to some of my old videos, like my the baby mama video. That's just my baby mama. Uh, stigma, you know how people say all that and different things. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on all social media and all of my videos. Because, you know, your girl... Because, you know, your girl, <laughs> we're trying to get these videos on deck and get them seen by everybody. And the only way we can do that is if we have support. So, support actually counts. And, again, I'm not a lure or a makeup artist. So, don't be asking me to show y'all products and all that. I don't do that. I have a niece, though. As I already told y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm going to put her work up and actually put a link up so y'all can get to her if y'all want to get, you know, a beat with no apologies. So, I'm going to put her link in at the end, but her name her name on Facebook is Beat by Andy. That's B-E-A-T by B Y N D I N D Y and tell her Auntie sent you and let her be 
eat your face. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, put some pictures up of her stuff also at the end. Also, I'm gonna put some links to Abron and the Leia channel. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment as I always say, and support. So y'all holla back at your girl, and I'm out. Bye. Make sure y'all check her out. This is some of her work. And this is her. This is Beats by Indy. So go to Beat by Indy on Facebook. And holler at her and let her know Auntie sent you.